I have a lot of work right now where I'm parenting, coaching parents of grown children who are still continuing to call on them for bills to be paid for. Um, I had a, a mother recently and, and her son threw a fit and was angry with her because she bought him the wrong pair of jeans. This son of hers is 38 years old. Um, we're seeing a trend that way where more and more parents, even after we launch, are having to do so much support uh, financially and even emotionally. And, and we don't want to end up in that position. That isn't healthy for us. In those years, we need to be able to, to cut those apron strings and, and let our kids uh, move into their adult life. It's not healthy for us, but it's especially not healthy for them. Someday we're gonna be gone and our kids need to be ready. Had another uh, family worked with recently where the mother took pictures of outfits. Her, her daughter was launching, but she took photos of outfits because she had never learned that ability. And the mom wanted to make sure that she picked the right <laughs> combinations. Sometimes it's the parent even wanting to do too much. And many times in those, in those stories too, the, the children have learned to accept help in in any area that the parent is offering. So our kids will take, take our offering. Um, they'll appreciate it uh, if we rescue them from discom discomfort. But again, it's not healthy for their development. And now as we shift to, to thinking of kids with disabilities, this is, this is even more significant. I think we tend to have even a greater understanding or compassion or or, or hurt for them as they struggle. And, and we might, um, you know, assume even around areas of functioning, what their limits are, and, and then provide supports and, and rescuing in those situations where we may not be aware of their full potential, their abilities, and might be robbing them of even finding that. Um, and that around functions and, and supports and behaviors that will be essential for them as they move toward um, independence.